I'm making a wall of wood. It's going to go in a conference room for a lumber yard. And so it only seems appropriate to highlight some of the lumber that they carry at the yard. We got all different types here. We got Purple Heart, Marupa, um, Wenge, Black Walnut, Sapelli, Spanish Cedar, Kaya. It's all kinds of stuff. I'm just laying it out to get a feel for it. But so I'm, I'm resawing a lot of this stuff, some of it down to an eighth inch, some to a quarter, and I'm just going to glue it all to the wall. So pretty easy, but I got an assortment that I've been chopping up and then I am resawing everything on the bandsaw, which cuts pretty nice. I have this little feather board. It's magnetic. You turn it and it holds your piece tight up against your fence. Well, anytime I got a different thickness, I got to adjust this thing. And so that was kind of bugging me. So I stopped working tonight and I made an upgraded feather board. And this way I could send any thickness through. And I could also adjust the fence and not have to worry about the feather board so much. I mean, it's within range. But I could basically send anything through there from quarter inch material up to two and a half inches thick and it will accommodate it without me having to move it around. So all I did was put this little, I had some nylon washers so it pivots real good and put a couple eye hooks in there. I was going to put some small bungee cords on it but I had these so I used them. And then I figured you could also add tension or remove tension and since the fulcrum is all the way over here, it really puts a lot of pressure on it, which is cool. And it still actually slides really nice through there. You know, when I grab the piece, I could send it through and it just keeps it nice and tight. And also it stops it from coming backwards, which on the bandsaw isn't too much of a concern, but it's in there. So, The other thing too, after I made it, I realized that as soon as my board came through, it slammed closed again and it was knocking my fence out, which we couldn't have. And so I added one more thing. I added a little stop block and I put some little bumpers on there. And that way, let me pull this wood out, that way when it's closed, when it closes, it hits those bumpers and doesn't hit my fence. I saw some jig like this, I don't know, 12 years ago in some book I had working with routers maybe was the one, one of them. But I don't even know if this is the same that that was. But anyway, it's always fun making jigs and fixtures to make work easier. And it actually saves time. So that's what I've cut up. This is what I still got to resaw. Got a little longer to go tonight. Hope you enjoyed it.